At a family business in Queens, locals with ties to the West Indies can find a taste of home and a sense of community. We open at 4 30 in the morning. We're here until 10 o'clock at night. So we're cooking all day. We used to open at 6 a.m. And slowly, you know, people would knock on the door. Oh, I'm late for work. Can I just go like grab something to go? So we start opening the door, you know, 15 minutes early. It became 5.30. It became 5 o'clock. <laughs> now it's 4 30. I'm Seema Chan. I'm one of the managers and owners of Sing's Roti Shop here in Richmond Hill, Queens. Tell me the history of how this place got started. My parents started this restaurant in 1990. Both of my parents are from Trinidad and Tobago. It was a really small the restaurant had a couple of tables. It was just about four blocks away from here, close to the Van Wyck. And it was my mom and my dad, my grandmother. They were just, you know, cooking the food that they knew from back home. At that time, there was getting an influx of West Indian people, Trinidadians, Guyanese people, Suriname people coming into the area. The population was growing and people were wanting some of the food that they grew up with. Like it's Trinidad Chinese food, it's Guyanese style food. Anyone from Trinidad will know what a doubles is. Anyone from the Caribbean knows what a doubles is. Everyone has their own twist on it. Mm -hmm. But it's traditionally two pieces of barra or bread and it's stuffed with the chickpeas, the chana, which is seasoned with green seasoning, a little bit of pepper, garlic, and then what differs is the condiments that you want to put in it. That's the uh, macaroni pie. Perfect. This is sugar and coconut. With aloe pie with the chickpeas, with the chana. Okay, he needs a goat roti, right? Okay. So now I'm going to make it. We have the roti. So now we need this go with the roti. Okay. That I just want. Welcome. Tell me about who your typical customers are. So since we've been here for over 30 years, we have a lot of customers that have been with us since we opened. A lot of the customers are from the community that come to us on a daily basis. We know what they like and don't like. So, oh, we have a special today. Like, you're going to like this. And they're like, yeah, yeah, give me that. You know, like, <laughs> it's a camaraderie and it's like a, a friendship that you get with some of these customers. Yeah. Some of these customers have known me since I was like five years old. Wow. <laughs> so that's kind of funny as well. Some of the customers, it's nostalgic because they grew up with it and yeah. it was something that their mom or their grandmother made. Mm -hmm. So they come to us for that sort of feeling as well. We have music playing, you know, we have a bar. We know when there's cricket on or there's a traditional like show or event that's going on in Trinidad, we play it on the TV as well. So some people like to come out here and just hang out and just mm -hmm. enjoy the vibes and enjoy the people from the community that they know. What do you hope for the future of Sing? I think just for it to continue. I mean, we've been here for over 30 years and it's been one family. You know, it's my mom, my dad, my sister and myself. And I think we just want that to continue.